All right, everybody, we're not done yet. It is almost 8 o'clock Pacific time, and that means it's 11 o'clock over on the East Coast, but things are still happening, and things are happening that affect the Seattle Seahawks. And uh, just a couple of minutes ago, we have this from Jordan Schultz on X. Damian Lewis is the latest domino to fall. He is another player the Seahawks have lost, this one to the Carolina Panthers. So... Seattle Seahawks officially in the market for a new starting guard. Damian Lewis started at left guard for the last three years, and he started at right guard for one year before that. Now he will be starting at neither guard spot for the Seahawks because he's going to the Carolina Panthers four years, $53 million. So a little more than $13 million a year. My understanding is about half of the $53 million is guaranteed. And um, a couple different angles here. Couple, couple of different ways to chop this one up. First of all, I don't think very many people are going to be unhappy about this one. I don't think there are many Seahawks fans out there that view Damian Lewis as a player worth more than $13 million a year on a long-term contract. So I'm not expecting a lot of people to be unhappy here. Um, if this was the price, that's not a price that I think this team should pay and I don't think very many people think that this is a price that this team should pay. He is capable of being a really good player in this league. He has had good moments before. He has had good seasons before. But at the end of the day, he's a dubious scheme fit. At the end of the day, I feel like he is sty uh, stylistically suited for a particular brand of football that teams are kind of moving away from and is not really going to be what we're trying to do here in Seattle with Ryan Grubb for the most part. And just in general, I want to move off of players like this. Nothing against Damon, Damian Lewis specifically, because he did have good years here. I thought he actually overachieved like crazy in 2022 at the left guard position, actually having a nice year. But last year, to a certain extent, proved that it's going to be a little bit sporadic. It's not going to be dependable with Damian Lewis because he's not a fit for what we were trying to do with the Shane Waldron offense. And I don't think the Ryan Grubb offense is going to be that different in that regard. So I think Carolina knows what they're getting. They're getting a mauler. They're getting a road grader. However, it is worth noting that they also signed Robert, uh, Robert Hunt. So that being the case, they're probably putting Damian Lewis at left guard because Robert Hunt's a right guard. So that's kind of interesting, and um, I, I always uh, and I just always kind of figured that uh, if he were to get a second contract, it would be with a team that wanted him as a right guard because he looked so much better there before. But presumably, he's going to be a left guard now in Carolina, and again, I assume they know what they're getting. They know that they're getting. A guy who's not going to play too well in space. He's not going to be great on the move. He's not going to be great blocking at the second level. But he's a mauler. He's very strong, capable of creating holes in a gap-based scheme, capable of pushing defenders off the line of scrimmage. All that stuff, he can do that. So, good luck, Carolina. He is a good player if you put him in the right circumstances. So, I'm happy the Seahawks did not try to match this deal. In fact, I, I don't know if they even came close to this. I heard zero buzz concerning the Seahawks negotiating with Damian Lewis. I, I didn't hear anything about us wanting to bring him back. So it's very possible that we weren't even in on anything like this. Now, Damian Lewis did not have a very good year last year. He might have been playing injured and that didn't help, but he did not play very well last year. I think most people can agree on that. I think most people are on board with that assessment of his play. And he gets $53 million over four years. So beyond just the Damian Lewis impact, there's also a secondary, um, a, a secondary thing to look at when you're evaluating this contract and you combine it with what we saw guys like Michael Owenwu get and guys like um, Robert Hunt get from this same Carolina team, actually. Um, the interior offensive line market is crazy this year. And... This is probably indicative of what these guys are just going to get. So not only is this price tag out of pocket for Damian Lewis based on the way he's played the last four years, he's had two good seasons, two subpar seasons, and that's it. This is probably indicative of what we, what we can expect from the position. So if you are a 
slightly above average to half decent guard, you're going to get paid like this. Um, if you are a good guard or a really good guard, you're going to get paid like crazy. So the Seattle Seahawks, who are going through a little bit of a transitionary period, I think we can now officially say should not be looking to free agency to solve their interior offensive line issues. Maybe they can get a center because it seems like the centers are going for reasonable prices. Uh, Andre James went a little bit earlier for what I thought was a fair price. But in terms of getting like a guard, those guys are going for way more than anticipated. And they're, they're going to a place that I can't follow. It's too much money. I can't believe the Robert Hunt contract. I kind of can't believe this contract. To me, neither player is going to be worth the amount of money that they got over the next several years of their contract. So that's the other impact here. We can now officially say the guard market is out of control and we should probably sit it out. Because there are positions where players are getting a reasonable price or even a below expectations price, right? Like you're seeing safeties go for what I consider to be mostly reasonable costs. So you could go after a safety in free agency and probably get your money's worth. But guard... The guard market's just a little busted right now, I feel like. The final thing I want to talk about real quick here before we uh, move on from talking about these lost players, because a lot of people are going to be anxious because we're losing players and not getting players back. Keep in mind, the compensatory draft pick game is lucrative. You can do a lot of damage with compensation picks. And my understanding is that as of right now, the Seahawks can expect to get, I want to say, a sixth round pick for, Disley, uh, for for Parkinson, a fifth round pick for Brooks, and a fourth round pick for Damian Lewis. And that could change. They could be better. And there might even be like a seventh round pick in there for Disley. So understand that when you start to sign players from other teams out of free agency you lose those picks. So what is happening right now with all these valuable players being signed away from the Seahawks, Lewis, Brooks, and Parkinson namely, you are getting future draft picks back. It's not great, but it's going to help. Like even that sixth round pick, that is four years of cheap labor on a potentially valuable, good, or really good player. You never know. So understand that if you sign an outside free agent to replace every free agent you lose, you're losing the compensatory game and you're spending top dollar, especially right now. Free agency literally just started. So consider that angle. We just probably got a fourth round pick out of this Damian Lewis contract. <clears throat> we spent a third round pick to bring him here in the first place. So... We get Damian Lewis for a third, get four up and down, but overall decent years out of him, and then we lose him, and then the following year we get a fourth round pick. That's pretty good business. That works, especially when I don't even really want the player because I don't think he's a fit. And he's also getting overpaid like crazy. So buckle up, trust the process, understand we have new coaches here that probably feel no attachment to these players whatsoever, and probably in some cases, flat out don't want them. All right, see you guys later. Go Hawks. Damian Lewis signs with the Panthers. Four years, 53 million. Sound off below, and um, might be a one more video late tonight when we know for a fact things are done for the day. But uh, yeah, things are still churning out there.